Okay, so what's going on? Jay from JS Films here, and today we are going to be talking about some free animations that you can use with Unreal Engine 5. Now, a lot of people have been asking about this video, and I'm sorry it's late, but basically, how do you use Mixamo with the new Unreal Engine 5? So I've showed y'all how to kind of do it manually in my course, but what I'm going to do right now is show you a plugin that you can buy that can make this process a whole lot easier. So I showed y'all the free version, now I'm going to show you the paid version on how to get this done. Now, if you're very new with Unreal Engine 5, uh, and you're looking for some animations, there is a website called Mixamo, which was owned or which is owned by Adobe, and it's right here. Now, as far as I know, this is still free, so you can just sign up. And what I'll do is just teach you how to use these animations with a new version, official version of UE5 using a plugin that you can download. All right, so what we'll do first is actually browse some characters because you can actually use the characters as well. And what I'll do is I'll just use this one right here. You can select whichever you want. But for sake of this tutorial right here, I'm going to use this character. And we will go ahead and download this as an FBX. And a T-Pose is okay. And I'm going to save this to my desktop right here. Okay, so the reason why we're downloading a character here, even though we're not going to use it, is because we have to use this character to import the animations here later. So what I did was I went ahead and just downloaded that character and put it right here. Which is good. And then what we'll do next is actually download an animation, right? There's a lot of animations here for free in Meximo. So let's do, I'm just going to go to the next page here and we'll just do the walk with rifle. That's something that I really use a lot. And what I'll do is I'll have it, I'll leave everything by default and just download it, right? And I'm going to change this to 60. And we don't have to technically download this with a skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and say without skin and we're going to download it as a binary. All right, so we have the character and we have the animations and now all we have to do is go to the Epic Marketplace because I said we're going to be using a plugin. So what you're going to do is type in Mixamo here and I actually used to use the first version of this as you can see I own both of them and I am not affiliated with these people whatsoever. Um, and I used to use this but now they came out with an updated version for Unreal Engine 5. And that's basically what I'm going to show you right now. So if you purchase it, I think it's like $34. You just have to install it in your engine. Uh, this one is 5.0. So you can see if you need the 4.27, then check out the other one. So install it here. I already have it installed. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a new project. And I'm um, already in here. We will create a game. And let's do a third person because this comes with some pre-made assets that we're going to use. All right, and I will just title this Mixamo Tut, and we'll create it. Okay, so we have this third person open now, and I'm going to edit plugins because we actually have to enable that plugin in here. So I'll click this, and we will restart. Okay, so once the project is open again, I'll close this now, and I'll go ahead and just kind of like go right here, and let me go ahead and change the default level. I'm sure y'all are tired of that. So we'll go ahead and go to this new one, which is an open world. Look how massive this is. I'll click on update here. What we'll do is I'll create a new folder now. And I'll just title this mix. And the first thing we need to do is actually drag and drop the character first. Right? I'm not going to choose any skeleton right now. It is a skeletal mesh. And I'll just import that. By not choosing a skeleton there, it's going to create its own skeleton, which is what we want. We want it to create an actual Mixamo skeleton here. We'll go ahead and close this out. And now we're going to see that there is a character and there is a skeleton. So if I can double click the skeleton, you're going to see that it's good. If you want to see the name of the bones, you can go to character bones and all hierarchy. So that's perfect. All right, and I can just turn that off. I don't need it right now. That actually looks pretty good in Unreal. It looks a lot better than it did on that browser. So we'll close this out. And again, we opened the third person template because if you go to the characters of the third person blueprint, 
you're going to see a mannequin UE4 folder and a mannequins. If I look at the mesh, this is the UE5 mannequin. But in that same folder, you will also see the UE4 mannequin. So you're probably seeing where this is going. All right. So basically what we're going to do is use that plugin to connect the UE4 mannequin to the Miximo skeleton. And then we will connect then the UE4 mannequin to the UE5 skeleton. Now, another cool thing about the UE5 skeleton is it actually shares the same exact rig or skeleton as the meta humans. As of right now, they're still developing a straight to meta human retargeter. But for now, we can just use the UE5 because technically this is the same thing. So whenever that's out, I will go ahead and update this video tutorial so that we'll take it straight to a UE5 meta human. So you can see the post is similar to a meta human and the bow names are similar to a meta human. Just cool in a way. Okay, so let's go back to the tutorial now and I'm going to my mix folder because what we'll do is actually drag and drop that animation in there now, the walk with rifle. And what this is going to do is automatically pick that skeleton for this character because they came from Miximo, both of them. So I'll go ahead and make sure animation length is checked off. Exported time is okay. And let's go ahead and import all. This is going to be, well, it's still compiling shaders, but it's okay. But if I double click this now, this is going to apply that character animation to our mesh that we got from Miximo here. Okay, so to use the plugin, all we have to do is look at that skeleton for that Miximo. We're going to right click it and we're going to click this retarget Miximo skeleton. This is the plugin that we just purchased. So retarget. And now you're going to see that there's an SK mannequin that is compatible with this program. Later on down the road, hopefully we will have the UE5 mannequin right here and maybe a meta human. But for now, we'll just do two transfers. Now, I know this used to be really easy, but again, by using this plugin, it's a lot easier than from you know, creating from scratch. So we will select this now, and what that's going to do is actually automatically create an IK rig and an IK retargeter. So if I click on this IK retargeter, you're going to now see that we are now retargeting the Miximo animation on the left. I'll make this bigger for you. On the left, to our UE4 mannequin on the right. And all this chain down here are already set up. And if I click on the asset browser, I'm going to double click this. And now you're gonna see that UE4 mannequin in Unreal is automatically retargeted to that Miximo character, right? So that's pretty awesome because if you have a lot of UE4 mannequin characters that you wanna use in Unreal Engine 5, and you want to use the Miximo animations, now you can do that by simply just right clicking and now it's retarget. If you want to use this with the new UE5 skeleton, like I said right now, there's no direct way of doing this. I will go ahead and then export this selected animations. So we're going to have the IK rig asset source target. So I will go ahead and export this. And for the sake of making everything good to go, I'm going to name this UE4 retargeted. You can name it whatever you want to and press OK. OK, so what I'm going to demonstrate now is obviously this mannequin we're not going to use for a movie or so. We actually need some skeletal mesh. So what I'll do is how do you retarget then this animation from Miximo to a character that you get? from the Epic Marketplace, which honestly majority of them are going to have Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. So I'm gonna go to my library now and I'm gonna scroll down. I'm just gonna grab maybe two. So I'll go ahead and check this and go to characters. I'll grab the cyberpunk girl, add her to my project. Go see if I can add maybe the superhero gameplay one. Go ahead and click on add. So we have two different characters, which both of them are rigged to UE4 mannequins, right? So the beauty of this is that as long as the characters all share the same skeleton hierarchy and name, if I now go to this target preview mesh 
and I can actually select the cyberpunk girl now, and I can just retarget those animations straight to the skeletal mesh that we just added just now. So if I go to walk with rifle, and I export these animations, and I'll just leave it here, it's okay. I'll minimize this, and I'll double click this right here. You are now gonna see that Mixamo animation on this character. And again, this is probably one of the benefits of having this IK retargeting stuff, because if your characters all share the same skeleton, you form mannequin, same pose, you can use that plugin to just keep retargeting to different skeletal meshes. And let me go ahead and demonstrate that one more time. Sorry. So I'll go to my Mixamo retargeter right here. And again, we use the Cyberpunk Girl. Let's add that other character, which is the superhero skin one. That's already there. I'm going to click that animation. And now, since that's also using UE4 Mannequin, Skeleton, and, and Bone Names, I can now retarget that there as well. I will just drag and drop our characters here. And drag and drop our character here. Just reset this. You're going to see that both of them have that animation that we got from Mixamo. So what I'm going to do in the next video is how you can retarget these to a meta human. Now I'm going to separate this video so whenever people are looking for it, it's going to be a little bit easier to find.